This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 6, Debugging Wrong Table Name. You may have run into this in the previous levels already, but let's see what happens when we try to read records from a table that doesn't exist in our database. It's not going to be happy. Bah. Drag out read records, table name as... Okay. Run the program to see what value is passed to the records parameter. Oh, no, I didn't get an error. It's just empty. So we ask the server for my table, and the server says my table equals nothing. That doesn't exist. So it just returns nothing, and the computer says nothing, and outputs this, right? Because I'm assuming it always will return an array, and so it outputs an empty array. If you read from a table that doesn't exist, you won't get any error message, right? And the data, because it, you still get something in response, just empty. We'll respond by sending back an empty array of records. An empty array looks like, yep, any other tables in the database are left unchanged. As a debugging tip, if you request for reading records from the database are coming up empty, double check that the code is the actual name, uh, the actual table name are spelled exactly the same. Capitalization matters, of course. All right, so that's annoying though that it doesn't say errors because I hate errors, but errors are helpful. But it's just kind of how um, communicating with different types of servers and requesting data work. So we'll have to be aware. Let's keep going. 